Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the time of your English program on your national television, ORTM1. First, the top of the news. The mining code and the law relating to local content in the mining sector in Mali have just been promulgated by the president of the transition, Colonel Asmi Guita. The head of state also received a noted report which reveals that the mining sector has an annual turnover of nearly 2,000 billion CFA francs. Issa Kamfuru, ambassador of Mali to the United Nations in New York, made a statement during the United Nations Secretary General's Council meeting on the withdrawal of the mission. The head of Malian diplomacy successfully received this week the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in West Africa and the Sahel and the John Wade Food Program UNICEF mission. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mali News. The mining sector has an annual turnover of nearly 2,000 billion CFA francs, figure revealed by a noted report submitted to the president of the transition. The head of state also promulgated the mining code and the law relating to local content in the mining sector in Mali, recently adopted by the CNT. Update with Ibrahim Traoré and Angel Dambele for English Time. The mining code and the law bills relating to local content in the mining sector in Mali have been promulgated by transition presidents to texts adopted in votes on August 8th by the National Transitions Council. The gesture was followed by the presentation and the delivery to the head of state of the final report on examination of financial accounts in the mining sector. Its contents were announced away from the camera, but officials reported that the document denounces several unevenness that must be reviewed in the mining sector, a sector with a turnover of nearly 2,000 billion of our money. The implementation of the recommendations of this audit report will be a way to change for the better the living conditions of people and beyond that the sustainable development of the country, a will of the coordinator of the audit mission to put an end to this commentary, Mali's goal shined for the happiness of the Malians. After the promulgation of the mining code and law relating to local content in the mining sector in the Republic of Mali by the President of the Transition, Colonel Asimi Guita, their application aims to improve the living condition of the populations and beyond the sustainable development of the country. What do these two texts say and what are the major innovations? The Minister of Economy and Finance responds to the microphone of Ibrahim Traoré with the voice of Angel Dambele. The code brought a lot of innovations. First, we have codes which gave an export duration of more than 20 years. Today, the code has separated. We have an operating permit and a research permit. The research permit is for three years and can be renewed three times. Once the research is in its deadline, you are given an operating permit for 12 years, including two years for the mine setup, which means that financial stability is only over 10 years and not 20 or 13 years. The second aspect is firstly the level of state's involvement. The state shares in 13% plus 5% from the private sectors, which makes 35%. Secondly, the method of calculating states' participation has radically changed. The state is not the only one to write or to decide. Everyone is informed that from this code, SOREM will carry all the accusations of shares at the level of the mining company and will share again them either to private companies or the state to keep them on our own funds. Other things are the exemption, which will be limited only to the research step. 
as soon as you want to explode, you are no longer entitled to the exception, and we know that per year we have 60 billion on petroleum products. So if we look at equipment and hardware, it is really an important amount that the state annually loses on exemptions. The head of Malian diplomacy successfully received this week the representative of the Secretary General of the United Nations in West Africa and the Sahel and the John World Food Program UNICEF mission. For the first, it was a question of strengthening their constant support for Mali and the security aspect. For UNICEF and the World Food Program, it was a question of living in difficult areas and protecting airports after the departure of Minisma. Report Bokar Kanute and Drissa Kadamele for English Time. The first session of the World concerned Leonardo Santos Simao. The Special Representative of the General Secretary of the United Nations in West Africa and Sahel. The departure of Minismo, the process of Alger Agreement, the promotion of inclusive dialogue were discussed. A joint mission to protect the UN system for delivering food to difficult areas after UN troop departure. The head of Malian diplomacy reassured his interlocutors about the spectacular advances recorded in security and the support throughout the process of Minismo departure. Isa Konfuru, ambassador of Mali to the United Nations in New York, has just made a statement. It is on the occasion of the United Nations Secretary General Council meeting on the withdrawal of the mission. Let's listen to the ambassador Konfuru, who shared with the Security Council the observations of the government of Mali on the progress report of the Secretary General in the context of the withdrawal of a minisma. He is at the microphone of Garibu Peru and Gasu Jara for English time. The government of Mali is satisfied with the Security Council of the United Nations to respect its request last June. From June until now, the Security Council of the United Nations is working hand in hand with a multi-dimensional mission integrated for the stabilization in Mali, MINISMA, in order to bring peace and stability in Mali. To do this, they are taking part in the withdrawal of MINISMA. The withdrawal of MINISMA has been decided by, by the Security uh, Council of, uh, United, of the United Nations. This uh, withdrawal of MINISMA will be respected in accordance with uh, the deadline which will put into effect next December 31st, 2023. Mali thanks the Security Council of the United Nations for respecting the agreement of the report. The government of Mali thanks the implementation uh, of the withdrawal of MINISMA which has been successful. This, uh, this is the first phase of the withdrawal in which uh, four camps have been given up by MINISMA, even though the transfer of the camps of uh, Ogosagu, Gundam, and Menaka have been peaceful. Some criminal activities uh, which have been committed in Bear, at the same time the transfer of the camps uh, make positive the terrorist uh, groups did some criminal activities in order to prevent Malian army forces and defense from occupying these camps. In fact, the government of Mali expresses is its uh, angry and uh, its uh, reaction against uh, these uh, criminal activities. At the same time, the government of Mali wants ministers to care about. They have to to be conscious of the environment environmental issues. In this case, the government encourages MINISMA to care about environmental issues in order to avoid pollution. 
the second phase of the withdrawal of MINISMA will put into effect in accordance with the agreement of the chronogram. At the same time, we are open to dialogue in order to resolve the current situation peacefully. At the same time, we want to make the transfer of the camps positive in accordance with the, with the deadline. We want the camp uh, of Tessalit, Agilok and Kidal should be released and come back to Mali. The deadline of the withdrawal of MINISMA should be respected uh, on December uh, 30, uh, 31st, 2023 in accordance with the resolution uh, 2690. The withdrawal of MINISMA does not mean the end of the cooperation between the Republic of Mali and United Nations organizations. Mali will be forever a member of the United Nations. In this case, the government of Mali wants to strengthen its cooperation with the program, the funds and the agencies of the United Nations, which are already represented in Mali. We need to bring peace and security in Mali. We want to thank the United Nations for helping Mali to get peace and security. I want to pay tribute to all victims uh, who have been killed in the battlefield, either civilian or military forces, either Malians or foreigners. The government of Mali takes all its responsibilities to make justice on all criminal activities. Members of the legislative body of the Burkina Bay Parliament had a working session with partners with members of the Foreign Affairs of Malian Established Abroad and African Integration Committee, then members of the Defense and National Security Committee of the National Council of Transition. The two meetings aim to share mutual experiences on parliamentary practices and identify perspectives. Modibo Mariko and Gasu Jara for English Time. Malian members of parliament and the members of parliament of Burkina Faso are working together in order to make a diplomatic parliament beautiful for the two countries. The two countries want to overcome socio-political issues. The representative of Burkina Faso is speaking. We want to strengthen this integration of African people as, as soon as possible. We, all, uh, we also talk about terrorism, which is uh, devastating uh, the two countries. We want to fight ourselves against terrorism. In addition, we support our authorities. At the same time, the Commission of Foreign Affairs and Cooperation and the Commission of Security and Defense of Burkina Faso met the Malian counterparts. The purpose is to share work and experience between the two commissions. General Menkoro Kane, President of the Commission of Security and Defense of the National Council of Transition of Mali is speaking. We want to strengthen our cooperation with Burkina Faso we want to strengthen the cooperation between the two parliaments. We want to strengthen our capacity about security and defense. We also want to show example in the African continent. The representative of Burkina Faso is speaking. We want to share our experience with Mali. Nowadays, Mali and Burkina Faso have the same destiny and preoccupations. In this case, Burkina Faso and Mali should overcome all crises. Therefore, we work hand in hand to fight this insecurity in our two countries. At a time when the state's social partners are committed to calming the social climate, the president of the transition, Colonel Asimi Guetta, is strengthening the continuity of social works. He has just donated a large batch of dialysis inputs to the Poingé University Hospital. 
Bokar Bablin Touré and Drissaka Damile for the translation. We are really for dialysis patients at CHEU of Poinje. They receive a large input for patient management. The gesture is part of the social works of the transition president. Many patients sent messages to congratulate the transition president for the importance of these materials. Two billion francs CFR is the amount the state injects per year in the management of patients. In addition to that, the state also provides free management of more than 350 people with kidney failure. The minister in charge of health took this opportunity to visit patients before seeing the stock of available imports. Sport football. Mamutu Touré has been re-elected as the head of Malian Football Association for a new four-year term. It was thanks to the extraordinary elective General Assembly in the presence of FIFA and CAF emissaries. The work took place on Tuesday, August 29, 2023 at the International Conference Center of Bamako. Among the 63 voting members, 61 have chosen Mamutu Turwe with one vote against and one abstention. LMD system, realities and perspectives, was the team of the fifth promotion of LMD system in the Faculty of Literature and Language Sciences. It was this Saturday, 26 of August 2023, in the so-called faculty where students got their graduation. Follow the story. The fifth promotion of LMD system in the Faculty of Letters, Languages and Languages Sciences got their bachelor degree. This graduation dwell on the theme LMD system in Mali realities and perspectives. It is an honor and pleasure for me to get to have this moment because we have suffered many time here. Just it is uh, just uh, a round of free or uh, more than that year we are here, and every day we are coming because of a license. And uh, really, I can I can really not say anything about that today. I'm really happy to have this day. The message that I have for my professor is that uh, to consider the student and uh, give them and professionalize them because the students, most of them came here, they don't have the ability to express themselves in English. They don't know how to learn the lesson because the teachers are explaining all of the lesson in English, just English here. The message that I can share with the teacher is that to see to have another opportunity, another method in order to improve the competence and the learning skill of this young generation. Those are choosing English department as their life, as the key of their life, I mean. Uh, I am the chairperson of this uh, of the club that belong to the University of Kabbalah. What I can tell to my young generation is that uh, to just create something for them because this university is not that not guarantee your life because you have to work and you have to just create something like entrepreneurship and uh, so that uh, to improve yourself and to improve your li your life parkour in order to increase their skill the students of these departments who learn different languages have all their clubs and each club has a chairman the river for the state starts from union. This is what the students of this department have understood. Although they are in different clubs, they all took part in their graduation festival, a face in Flessel LMD system. Lecture, slam, sketch, and so on were on the schedule of the day. The meeting ended by the certificates delivering and performance. That's all for today's local news, but stay with us for the guests of the week. Hello, welcome in the English program of ORTM. Today I am with a Malian living abroad, presently in the United States of America. Could you say more about you and tell us 
why you are here in Mali precisely. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, first, I thank uh, the old team <laughs> and Mr. Diara <laughs> and Mr. Bali mm -hmm. to invite me to this platform. Okay. Well, uh, as we know, most of the, I mean, there's a lot of majority young folks of Malians in, uh, in abroad now called the diaspora. Mm -hmm. So I'm part of the diaspora, meaning like I live now in the United States for the past 30 years. So uh, about myself, I'm an entrepreneur contractor, uh, general contractor in uh, USA. Probably here they will say like entrepreneur. I own a school in Philadelphia, uh, higher education, which is like a university here. So I appreciate this program and I'm here to see what I can do to participate or help this program. I'm here in Mali for three main things. Every three months, I try to come back here to be connected to the, uh, to the environment and see what I can do for the country. So my main goal is try to see what I can do to help the education system here uh, because I think uh, based on our experience that without education is no development. So without no development, there is going to be a problem. And the other thing is we're trying to have uh, some uh, be part of uh, the peace in Mali because you know Mali been suffering for lots of social crisis. Yeah. You know so, and that's about what I can say about myself. Education wise, uh, I'm PhD candidate. Yeah. And I have, I'm an MBA, I have an MBA, I have a Master in Homeland Security, I have a Master in Sustainability, which uh, concerns environment and the energy mm. section. And I have all the little, some other education, which is not important. Okay. <laughs> I can do pass that for. So, okay. so we know you are in Philadelphia. Yeah. What project do you have for Malian, especially young Malian? Well, we'll come back to education again. Okay. okay. Uh, the difference between our countries mm -hmm. or African countries uh, and the rest of the world is a lack of education. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think our education system is still under the colonial system. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, the way they teach here, the way what we learn here is, is very hard to be, you know, to be expanded to another level mm -hmm. because kind of like we're still in the box. We, we had a chance to be outside and see different, all the different of educations. Mm -hmm. So we can see our education is like, without changing the system of education, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble for a long time. Okay. Yeah. So what do you propose in this education? What kind of education you propose to Malian? Well, I would say first, uh, they have to have good politics, mm -hmm. you know, meaning like uh, we need to work, work meaning like it's lots of diaspora people there who are very well educated. Mm -hmm. Before probably I was even born, we do have very well educated mm -hmm. Malians outside of Malian. Mm -hmm. But coming here try to help is, is, is very complicated. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. But that's the thing. If uh, the new government or whatever mm -hmm. can work with the diaspora, I think we have enough educated people outside to be able to help this country. Okay. So you know, we, uh, we are living in a country, a francophone country. So what do you say to young people to learn English? And what can be very important for English for them? Well, I think we all know now English is the, the must, mm. is you have to learn English. Mm. As you want, as you don't want, you have to learn. If you want to be anything in science, in anything advanced in this world, in technologies now, mm. is in English, okay? Mm. All the great books, all the great texts is in English. So English is something we, we all need to learn. Mm. And then now with English, anywhere you go, you can communicate with some, yes. somebody else. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are living in a, the United States. What is the relationship between you, Malian, who are living there? I think I would say it's good, it's positive, mm -hmm. because first we are doing what we can do. Yeah. You know, some are do very well, mm. some are do okay, yeah. some are struggling. Mm. So that's a life. So uh, come together is is we do it, mm. but we can do better. Yeah. You know, because uh, why I'm saying we can do better mm. 
if you take our communities and compare it to other communities like Nigerians, mm -hmm. the other country uh, countrymen, mm -hmm. I mean other countries, the people are better together than us. Mm -hmm. I think that's a little bit the background of the culture we we have here and we go. Mm -hmm. The francophone, I mean people who is in speaking French, mm -hmm. is a little bit you know not pragmatic. Yeah. And people who's Anglo-Saxon people, they're more practical, yeah. you know. So I think that difference, we're still struggling because also we have to accept and understand too, we start to go to those countries not a long time ago, mm -hmm. compared to the rest of the, those people. Yeah. Those people have been going there for over 60 years, 80 years, mm -hmm. but we just, uh, in the 80s, I think, it start to migrate from Francophone people to 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 United States. Okay. Yeah. So we are at the end of this uh, conversation. So before your last week, what do you say to young people who want to go to study or to to do another thing in the United States? Well, I would say anybody who have a chance to go study abroad, I would say go. Mm -hmm. But I will say that uh, the government have to come up with some good politics mm -hmm. to keep it because we have. Uh, we have a brand, we smart like anybody else, yeah. okay? But we only go outside because we don't find that here, yeah. you know? So if we can find that here, mm -hmm. we're not gonna go. Yes. So that's what I can say. Mm -hmm. Good politics and focus on education. Without the education, we're not gonna go nowhere. Okay. Thank you very much You're welcome. for coming. You're welcome. Uh, I hope next time, if you come for a holiday, we can exchange. Yeah, no so problem. So this place is open to you. No problem. Thank you Thank again you. for coming. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for watching us. We'll be together next Saturday and Sunday, same time, same channel, ORTM1. May God bless Mali. Goodbye.